shout out to sponsor the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Goodfellow One Boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back. Goodfellow Sports TV in the building, man. And apparently, uh, uh, ASAP Rocky and I'll link the interview in the description the clip. He went on to the Angie Martinez show, I think it was, her radio show, and um uh, said that he's a bad bitch, okay? I explained the context of what he said, but I didn't get ASAP Rocky a few passes and I just think it's official that I think um you know he playing both sides if you catch my drift. But appreciate everybody for checking back in. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video, man, from your boy once you do that. Uh shout out to everybody supporting the channel, man. Um Appreciate it, man. But um, you can check out music entertainment playlists out. Got a lot of stuff along this line with entertainment and music stuff and stuff of that nature. But um, he goes on there and say that he feels that women should take him shopping because basically he that guy. He could have said worded better. Like, I'm I'm that guy. You know, I'm on some pimp player type stuff. They know what they're dealing with when they mess with me. And I feel like women should take me shopping because I'm pretty much a male version of a bad bitch. Um, that's what he said. Um, and, and, and he said some other stuff in, in the clip that really wasn't relevant to, to what he said, you know what I'm saying? And this is the same guy that said he was in prison. I, I believe this was him. He said he was in prison. He was fighting, slipping on cum, um, you know, wear purses, wear stuff like that. Um, and you know, you like his music, you know, he had that one song with Drake and Kendrick and all of them and his albums do pretty good without getting, you know, a lot of, a lot of national radio play. So he has some type of popularity. I'm more of a Ferg guy. I like ASAP Ferg. And when he said that comment about being in jail and they you know, fighting they, and he slipped on some cum, Ferg looked at him like, bro, <laughs> like, dog, you ain't even, I don't even want to hear that, man. But um, that's just what rap coming to. That's just what the world coming to. And I think it's a form of population control. And I heard we were, you know, we were kind of underpopulated, you know, when you kind of go out there and predict you know, where the population should be the next whatever generation or two generations. But it's a form of population control. They're controlling, um, you know, guys, what they wear, how they think with this music. And they're pushing the agenda on music now. And then, you know, about the rituals that they have to go through. If not, um, you can check out the Ali Vegas interview. Just put that in. Ali Vegas, he did an interview about the rituals that his cousin had to go through to get into the modeling agency or, or just the acting world, music entertainment industry. And he just chose not to. It was so bad. What they asked him to do was to go. He had to go to Saudi Arabia. Um, you know, he, that's how bad it was. He just moved out the country. But, um, you know, he could have worded it better. Obviously, you already suspect. But obviously, he comfortable. You know, he comfortable. And one thing I did notice about the interview that he wanted to say no homo, but the LGBTQ community has really got people gun shy, and it really it's a form of bullying. You know, what they are doing is bullying a lot of these music entertainers. And doing what Peter wanted, what Peter doing by throwing paint and stuff off of people's furs and stuff of that nature, uh, that's what they do. And they even bullying and making people hold their words and not talk how they want to talk, even though it's not the malice about, you know, how they articulate and what they're using it for. But yeah, he did say no homo, but he caught it. He said no homo, and he caught it. So he was trying to, you know, pretty much articulate like he's the male version of a bad bitch, but it didn't come out that way. When you have a history of suspect activity on how you carry yourself as a male, then you know, people going people to question that. You know, now if this was your first slip up, maybe some people look past that. Maybe you didn't dress like that, wear, wear, dress like that, wear purses and wear questionable, questionable hairstyles. But when you add it all up, he equal to suspect. But appreciate everybody for checking in. But make sure you check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze, the Hellblaze.com, promo code goodfellow one boxing. You get 18% off once you use my promo code. And that's in addition to any price slicing they're doing, any discounts or promos they're running. You always get the eighteen percent off your fitness nut. You 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 in the health and wellness. You in the clean living. You on another level of thinking and just being clean. Try the natural products. Not only eat clean, use natural products: toothpaste, lotions, bath bombs, foot soaks, a hair pomade, muscle relaxer rub. All that can assist your clean living or your clean eating habits. With just you know, clean products you lose around the house. Check them out. The website and promo codes in the description. But yeah, man, like he's like he make you think, man. You know, he just. Over and over again, it's just been too many suspects, man. Now, you know, he ain't been on no tiger stuff and get caught with no tranny or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. And people told me about him like five, six years ago 
that he was like that, and I didn't believe it, you know what I'm saying, I like his music, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't change if I like his music or not, you know, per se, but it kind of looks at the difference, like Frank Ocean, you know, when you heard, you learned that Frank Ocean was singing about a guy, pretty much, you know, you, you, you couldn't, you couldn't enjoy the song like you once did, but I don't think he kind of on that level, but he stayed with a baddie on his arm, but that was some questionable things that, he, that was a questionable thing that he said, and, um, you know, I'm glad that he caught himself with the No Homo Act because you know how the LGBT community is. They was going to jump and crack on his head and um, and try to bully him. And, and he was going to stand his ground like Kevin Hart. Well, Kevin Hart still gave up a lot of ground on that. But, um, but yeah, man, I, I, I can't condone that one. Okay, just say I'm not, I'm a player. You know, it's as simple as that. Sometimes you got to go back to the 90s and 80s and just, you know, just use common terminology. You can make player good again, you know, great again. You know, you can make it more popular. You can let, you know, you can make cool points more popular again. You know, you can make my bad more popular again. You know, it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. That's what fashion do. All fashion do is recycle what we already used before and bring it back time and time again. So, he, you know, he could have said, I just, you know, that I'm a player. You know what I'm saying? So they know when they got to, you know, they come, you know, mess with me. They know they got to take me shopping. They know they got to show me the, the, do the dolomite or the pimp. You know the Mac, the Mac, uh, the Mac attention. They gotta give me the Mac treatment. You know, that's it. But to call yourself a bad bitch, you dressing like that, it's a little suspect. But let me know what you think. I'll link the interview in the description on the source link. Salute to Angie Martinez and her show, man. Still doing it big after years and years. Getting it in. Salute, Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, on Twitter. You can reach out to me in an email if you got a business question, inquiry. We got Facebook group as well. Check us out, man. Uh, in addition to that, you can make a donation to the channel if you please, if you choose. That link's there as well, too. You can just share the videos. Also, got a Patreon talking about a lot of stuff on there pertaining to this that's coming. Our Hood Series is on there as well. You can check out the Hood Series and Food for Thought playlist. If you like it, you can join that our, that Patreon. It's only $5 a month where I can talk how I want to talk, where I can't talk on YouTube about topics like this, but how I really want to get into them. But don't forget to check out the Hell Blaze, thehellblaze.com. Use that promo code goodfellow one box, and anytime you go over there, Get 18% off their all-natural products. Once again, it's your boy CJ Goodfella. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button one more time for the one time. What up, though? Live from Detroit. Salute. Goodfella.